This is the Army Today, putting a military aircraft through its paces. Meet an Army test pilot. Uh, I'm a, being an Apache guy. Just... An Apache helicopter pilot, Major James DeBoer is expanding his horizons. His mission, check flight procedures, find out what the airplane can do, then push it beyond its limits. As an Army test pilot, he needs to be able to climb into any cockpit to see how that bird can handle. We're going to uh, evaluate in the uh, climbs and sense and longitudinal of the aircraft, be looking at the turns of the, the lateral, and be looking at the direction of the aircraft as it, if you were to kind of skid the aircraft in the air. The test pilot school at Patuxent Naval Air Station is geared toward one thing, turning pilots like DeBoer into frontline troubleshooters. It's one of the few jobs in the world where they pay you to go out and say, find problems, find errors, quantify them and quantify them as much as you can and provide the engineering support data that people can come back and now address these issues in the aircraft. Army aviators may fly only one or two types of aircraft in their entire career. As part of his course load, DeBoer flies four or five every couple of weeks. As an Army test pilot, the feedback he'll provide could shape the future of Army aviation. We're going to evaluate the aircraft and represent uh, the government looking at aircraft on its engineering characteristics, its flight and handling qualities, uh, looking at safety issues. They may want us just to evaluate on the, how easy it is to use a, uh, a new function or a new radio, or it may be doing the developmental test of the first aircraft. DeVore dreams of piloting that first test flight of a new aircraft, a bird that could one day become part of the Army's airborne arsenal. Jeannie Ryan, Patuxent Naval Air Station, Maryland. That's the Army Today from Washington.